Hi everyone, so welcome again. This is the first video about mastering laptop schematic reading. So as you can see here, this is the second page where we have the block diagram. I'm going to teach you in this video, uh, basically in this part one, the block diagram. So as you know, the block diagram is one of the most important page in every schematic because using the block diagram you can know about the motherboard structure uh, the motherboard chipsets and circuits and how all these parts are connected so please before diving don't forget to subscri subscribe share and like the video and also for anyone who want to accelerate learning you can join me in my patreon page where you will find many uh, schematics that you can download so this is basically the schematic for deal 5 4 handle okay where we have just one chipset as you can see do you see we have intel integrated chipset very improved and advanced chipset where all other chipsets are integrated i will prove to you why so here this is the reference basically you can look for this uh, reference in the internet wh l u 42 so i will prove to you uh, and uh, I, will, I, I will explain to you how to know the chipset contain which chipset okay for example here we have this chipset connected as you can see here to the ram you see connected to ram slots okay we have basically ddr4 ram uh, a very improved ram uh, we find this kind of ram in uh, the latest uh, laptops so for many of you will ask for example about the voltage for ddr4 so for ddr4 the working voltage is 1.2 volt and the vtt or the voltage for terminal is the half means 0.6 volt so uh, since we have had the ram connected to this chipset means this is a very improved laptop we have the memory bus and since we have here the HDMI, do you see? We have HDMI connector connected here, means the, in, the graphic card is integrated here. And since we have the LCD touch, we have the USB connectors, the camera connectors, and other connectors, means also the PCH, the old or the old switch bridge is connected okay or the pch means this laptop contain just one chipset and many of my followers and of course with the guys i communicate with in my patreon as a mentor uh, uh, they told me that the laptops with one chipset is uh, very difficult to repair no it's inverse computers or laptops with just one chipset is the easiest laptops in terms of troubleshooting and repairing because uh, let's just take one example you can just if you have a problem for example with a black screen within your laptop you have just one chipset one integrated chipset means you can just overheat or, or uh, use the the hot air and apply a little bit heat above the chipset and then uh, you will solve the black screen problem but when you have laptops with four chipsets for example four separated chipsets the cpu the graphic card the not bridge the search bridge etc uh, you cannot figure out what is the problem because it could be with the graphic card it could be with the processor or with the not bridge. so please uh, adjust and correct this that uh, the lattice laptops are very easy to repair 
and I will show you in a, a practical videos in the future. So here we have the chipset, means we have the CPU, the central processing unit that contain all other chipsets. We have the RAM basically. So here, basically just, uh, just without uh, disassembling the, the laptop and without wasting many of times so we can know that the RAM here is DDR4 okay so we know that the voltage is 1.2 volt VDD and 0.6 volt for VTT so this is the, the, the importance of the block diagram so we know the memory okay we have the bus over here we know even the frequency of the bus we have here for uh, 2400 me megahertz that you can uh, that you can measure using the oscilloscope guys in order to measure uh, this frequency okay you can use the oscilloscope and of course uh, connect the black probe of the oscilloscope to any ground in the motherboard and use the red probe or the read lead and check the crystal okay the crystal next to the processor if the crystal is good or not but i will show you uh, on another video how to check uh, this frequency about in the buses okay the, i will teach you the test point where you can check the, the frequency for buses because if all components are, go are good are good but you have problem with buses here okay nothing will be working you will get a, a data failure not a power failure because there is data and power failure okay so here we have the hdmi connectors for this laptop we don't have here the vga connector the old uh, port here we have a uh, HDMI connector as you can see the uh, DP switch uh, type C connector we have ADP connector so all these connectors are connected to do software processing good here we have the LCD touch the camera the USB 3 uh, also the USB 3 we find it in the very improved laptops as you can see so here we have basically other uh, circuits also connected to this chipset why as i told you before before because basically in the old laptops the connectors the card reader uh, the wireless lan the usb rg45 all connectors the bios the keyboard connector are connected to the third bridge but here no we have just one chipset <coughs> okay uh, so here basically this is uh, this about the process the bias here we have the bias do you see we have the bias when you find this reference 25q like this 25.6 G V E I Q. this is basically for the bias this is for the bias okay and using of if you pay attention here we have here 256 we have uh, 64 and we have 128 this is basically the capacity for the bios when you find 8 means you have 1 megabyte 16 well, you have 2 megabytes okay and so on okay guys so this is for bios and of course we have here the smart card the fingerprint connector also those also should be connected to this chipset but via uh, via a bridge or via an ice so uh, for basically for uh, the block diagram for this laptop is very easy is very simplified okay of course we're gonna see all this component in the next slides why by one by one for example for the ram we're gonna see do circuit for the ram we're gonna see the circuit for the cpu the hdmi circuit the usb circuit etc so here we have basically uh, the key b the key the keyboard controller here we have the keyboard co controller uh, we have the tp uh, keyboard tp connector the fan connector 
uh, do SATA HDD do hard disk drive we have also here SSD connector etc so the most important here is that all uh, is that we have just one chipset and all other parts are connected to this chipset so this chipset here now here is the most important word or sentence I will uh, want you to understand means this chipset all part here connected to this chipset because it contains all other chips it means you have to know about the power or the switch mode power supply or the power source for this chipset you gonna find not just one channel but many channels why because it handles all other circuits in the mother of so uh, one or the failures that this laptop will encounter is in terms of power i mean the voltage regulators the channels will be very probable failures in this kind of laptop why because this chipset handle all tasks in the motherboard it's not like old laptop where we have uh, separated chipsets and every chipset chipset handle a separate task here one chipset handle all tasks means you have to focus on uh, the power or channels the power channels for this chipset i'm go we're gonna see all this in the next slide so thank you very much please don't forget to share the video subscribe and like the video as i told you before your likes always motivate me to create more videos for you and for anyone who want to accelerate learning you can join me in my python page i can be even your mentor and help you in a real time thank you very much and see you in the next video at part two